Today, I'm gonna show you how to color correct skin tone in Photoshop. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. In today's episode, we're gonna show you how to color correct skin tone with a really simple technique. This is something anyone can do, which just takes a couple of minutes. Now there are a bunch of different situations that can result with improper skin tone in your image. Maybe the lighting was a little bit weird, you had a couple different color light sources, or maybe you didn't set the proper white balance on your camera. In this episode, we're gonna show you how to use a reference image with proper skin tone and how to make simple adjustments to your photos so you can color correct easily. We got a great tutorial, let's jump into Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop. Now we've got a couple of different images open and you can actually download all of these images on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below. So what I have here is an image on the left where the skin is just looking a little bit too red and maybe not enough saturation in the skin. We have an image here where the skin is looking a little bit green and a little bit yellow. And then we have our reference image. And this is an image I pulled off a stock image website that I felt had proper or correct skin tone that I want to mimic. This is a big part of the process. You wanna make sure to find a reference image that has proper skin tone and do your best to match the qualities of their skin as well as the lighting in the photos to the quality of the skin of your image. For instance, if you photograph someone with dark skin, be sure to find a reference image of someone who also has dark skin. Here we are in Photoshop. So we're gonna start by color correcting the image on the left. Now to start with, I'm gonna grab my move tool and we're gonna take a reference and actually just click and drag this from that image right over here. Now it's a little bit too large. We'll hit Control or Command T and let's go ahead and scale that down. I just need to be able to see this color skin compared to this color skin. So let's hit F for full screen. Now the tool we're gonna to use is the Selective Color Adjustment Layer, and this is the best tool for color correcting skin. The reason is we can actually choose our target color. In this case, it's gonna be reds because skin is predominantly red, and we can make subtle adjustments to that red, and of course, now we have a reference, so we know what we're aiming for. So let's go ahead and create our layer. We're gonna to go to Layer, down to New Adjustment Layer, and down to Selective Color. Let's hit OK. And here from the color dropdown, you wanna choose reds. Now, anytime that I make adjustments to this selective color, it's just gonna show up on everything that's underneath it. So as you can see, I'm making adjustments here. There we go, obviously it's not right at all, but this is not affecting my reference image because my reference image is above this selective color. So let's go ahead and reset that and take a look at what we've got. Now. To start with, we have a few different sliders. We have the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black sliders. So starting with the cyan slider, if I push this to the right, it's gonna add more cyan to the reds. If I go to the left, it's gonna push more reds into my image. So we have red and cyan. Now the next we have magenta, to the right is gonna give us more magenta, to the left is gonna give us more green. And we have yellow, to the right is gonna be more yellow, to the left is gonna be more blue, and then the black slider will make the skin darker or a little bit lighter. So let's go ahead and reset this. Now to start, I want our skin to just be a little bit lighter, so we're gonna pull our black slider a little bit over to the left. The big thing we wanna color correct is we've got a bit too much magenta in the skin. So we're gonna take our magenta slider and we're gonna start to drag that to the left, which is gonna reduce the magenta and give us a little bit of green in the skin. Okay, now not too much. And this is where the reference image comes in really, really handy. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Now, you can always adjust these sliders at any time. If you get it to a point where you think it looks good, maybe take a little break, come back and look at it again. If it still looks good, you're good to go. If not, you can continue to make adjustments. In this case, we're gonna add just a little bit more yellow to the skin. So let's click on our yellow slider and bring that to the right as well. And we're just gonna pull down the cyan a little bit, which is gonna give a little bit of red to the skin. Let's pull down the amount of magenta as well. There we go. And we're actually looking really good. Maybe just a little bit less yellow and a little bit more red by pulling down our cyan slider. There we go. So all these sliders, you can see, they all work together. And by having my reference image over here, 
it makes this much easier for me to actually work and match the colors of the skin. All right, that's actually looking really good. Maybe we'll just pull the cyans down a little bit more, which is just gonna put a little bit more red and then a little bit more yellow. Okay, now at this point we can see we're matching fairly well from one image to another. Let's go ahead and make our reference image invisible and take a look at the skin. So here's our before and our after with the skin tone. It's usually, maybe it's just me, but I kind of tend to the tendency to overdo things in Photoshop. So my next recommendation is actually just to lower the opacity of this layer just a little bit to get some of the original color back. So we're gonna go to the opacity slider. We're just gonna lower it just a little bit. And there we go. Something that like 70 or 80%. And I think this is actually looking really, really good. So we have our skin. Maybe we'll bring our opacity back up just a little bit more. Okay, so here's our before and our after color correcting that skin tone. Super easy to do. Now it's time for another example. So we're gonna go ahead and bring in our second example here. Again, I wanna make sure I use my reference image. So we'll click and drag from our reference image into our second example. Control or Command T, and we're gonna simply resize this. Just make it a little bit smaller and we'll hit F for full screen. Now we're gonna just basically do the exact same thing. Grab an adjustment layer. This time I'm gonna go right down here to selective color. And this time, looking at our subject skin, there's a little bit too much yellow. So I'm gonna take my yellow slider and simply drag that from the right to the left until we have less yellow. It's a little bit too much green as well. You can see towards green, towards magenta. And we wanna maybe just add a little bit of cyan to our subject's skin also. There we go. And still pull down the yellows and we're gonna pull up the blacks just a little bit as well. So I'm able to move my reference image just by using my move tool right over here and kind of compare those side by side, maybe just a little bit less. The next issue that we may have is saturation. So if you find that your skin is either too saturated or not enough saturation, you can create a hue saturation adjustment layer to work on your saturation. So let's go ahead and try that. Next, we're gonna go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over to hue saturation. Let's hit okay. Now here, we can also choose reds. So we're just gonna be adjusting the color of our reds. You can actually use an eyedropper to select the color you wanna edit. There we go. And I can simply lower or increase the saturation and again, I'm targeting the reds. So in this case, I'm just gonna bring it down just a tiny bit. Nothing crazy, but just a little bit less saturation. And now we can see the skin tone here much better matches the skin tone of this image. Maybe we'll just pull a little bit less yellow out of there. Okay, there we go. And I think we're actually looking really, really good. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and after images. Here's the before and the after. Our next image, here's the before and the after. And that's all there is to it. Now, my recommendation whenever adjusting skin color is to take a little bit of a break because your eyes kind of get used to seeing the colors that are on your screen. So take a few minutes of a break, come back, and if you still think the color works good for you, you're good to go. If not, you can just jump right back in that adjustment layer and continue making changes until you're happy. If you liked today's episode, give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We'll send you a free Photoshop episode every single week. Thank you so much. I'll learn you later. Bye everyone. So we're gonna start with the image on the left. Hey. Hey. Okay. I'll just bring you shirts. Yep, okay, bye.